Alrighty, there is no sound here. Let's play this in full first. And and that is that. All right, all right. So taking a look at this, I think there are one, two, three things that I would address first. The first thing is that this, it's this moment here as the character lun not lunges, but <laughs> takes a step forward and then immediately stops. As in, if you look at this line, you look at that spacing, it gets to a certain point and bam, we are suddenly hitting that invisible wall. Bam! And with a lot of movement in the root and the chest, it will continue and ease in a bit more, kind of soften that ease in so it doesn't stop so quickly. It might also be because you're rotating forward and then rotating back here. So that just gives you a bit of a harsh stop and go. Even here, if I'm being picky here, you go back and then you stop and go straight up. So there's just some spacing issues that I would tweak. Because overall, it has a pretty good feel in terms of the weight, it's a bit slow. That jump could just be a bit more explosive through this section. And I would make sure to leave the uh, the feet on the ground as long as you can to get a full extension on the legs. And then they can come up there. And then that drop feels pretty good too. Again, you have a little bit of a... Bam. It's good that you have a landing compression going forward. And then it suddenly stops here. As opposed to going forward a bit overshooting coming back so just some harsh stops here and there also arm wise i don't know uh you're mentioning here uh this is another body mechanics covering jump and he added the ball and then a new block out so it seems to be kind of early on so some of those notes might be for you like you know you know you know but for anybody watching this maybe they don't know but i would watch out for those arms as they come back and then stop, it gets a bit twinny in terms of the posing and the timing and there's a little bit of delay here, but it, you could push probably that offset a bit more. It feels a bit, especially here, a bit parented together and a bit post to posy as well. But the biggest thing is that one stands out the most to me in terms of the momentum stopping. The other ones need to work as well, but that would just be the first one. And then also watch out. You can also loosen up the head a bit. It doesn't have to have crazy drag and then overlap forward and then back. Otherwise, the whole head will feel too floppy. I understand that you want to be a bit more tense and focused. I get that. But loosening that up just a bit more. And again, this is not the... All of these are not the major ones. Like I said, the major one is this one. The second one, this just feels fast. Just a bit fast there. The tricky thing too is that it's... Kind of the angle, we might have to almost zoom out a bit more to give this a bit of a higher angle. But I buy, I mean, I buy this and I buy the angle of the bounce off. It gets a bit weird here because you're easing in and then it rotates and then eases in here and it's very soft. And then you suddenly speed up again into the drop, and then that drop is really fast too, which is my third thing. So you have bam, fast, fast, suddenly where it's you hit this and it's kind of slow and then suddenly fast as well. Again, little details here and there in terms of the weight and the spacing. But when I was watching this for the first time, I felt, oh, that's a hard stop. Then that ball is a bit fast. It's not crazy, but just a bit fast there. Just a bit fast. It's not, again, crazy. The more I watch it, the more I get used to it. But I guess the very first time I saw this, I felt oh, it's a bit fast, a couple of frames. But then the last one is where this definitely feels too fast. And then in detail, like I said, it's just a bit weird how you ease in. Like since this is open here, we'll come here, bounce off to here, harsh metal here, bounce off again. And then it might maybe hit this, do that, or just do this in an arc. But it has, has to have some, you know, bam, bounce off. And it can, obviously, every time it hits a surface, it's going to lose some energy and momentum but it will still start to accelerate as it goes down. But right now, it feels a very straight and just a bit too fast. Also, somewhere is a ground, so you almost expect this to come bounce up again and not just disappear. Picky, picky things here. And let me just see here. Like some of these steps also feel a bit soft, like how slowly they come down. Them, the feet. And then this feels a bit slidey 
So we're not seeing any cast shadows. It's kind of like, what is the perspective here? So you're almost expecting this so low that, oh, is he taking a step off the ground? But then you almost feel like it needs to go lower, but then it stays there. So it feels more like a sidestep. It just, it just feels a bit flat because you're always you're fairly flat. I see a bit of a tilt down. But I think this could just be a bit harsher. But then you also have a bit of softness in here. It starts to push. Like the foot goes back a bit. This goes back a bit. And we are still at full compression on the feet. Where I don't feel like this is hard enough to push and slide out this way. And then watch out. Like that foot goes forward at a certain speed. And then whoo, then slows down a bit too much. Subtle things there. There was a bit of a, a wobble in that bow right there. And that's kind of that. Like I said, just some harsh moments where everything moves forward, including the head. Wow, and not enough softness and overlap. You know, you want to break up these three sections just a bit more. And then, like, again, that just feels a bit default. Oh, this is just an exercise, but something for you to think about. Doesn't have to be in this one. Could be in the next clip. But, like, you know, he, he made it. Not that it has to be a full-on character thing of acting and jumping up and down and celebrating, but this just feels very default. So maybe a pose that would reflect something a bit more. But I understand that you mentioned your uh, body mechanics. So it's more about jump and weight. So this is not really a note to address in terms of you know type of acting but i would still end this with more asymmetry just for general posing appeal even if it's just body mechanics and that's about that i'll leave it at that and any questions always let me know thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you